Mike Green's out tonight. Um, he's had a reactivation of the virus uh, that he had earlier in the season. Uh, right now, we're, we expect him to be out seven to ten days. Um, we'll reevaluate when we get back home. Uh, he's got uh, an appointment set up, and, and we'll see where it goes from there. So I don't have any more information than that, except that uh, right now we expect him to be out seven to ten days. Do you have enough for night then with Wikowski? Uh, yeah, no, Daly's available, okay, Vanek's back in, uh, so we have enough. We're, we're, we're fine in terms of numbers. So he didn't tell you when he started feeling it, because he's been practicing. Uh, no, we've, it's something that we've looked at over the last couple of weeks. I think, um, you know, we've tried to manage uh, some of the fatigue in that, and uh, last night it just got a little bit worse. Is that one of the, I mean, I guess Philip or somebody, of the young guys, like who can maybe, you're going to need somebody on the PP, uh, who can, who, who can uh, this open an opportunity for? Well, I think, I think first off, I think with, with, with Phil, you know, he, he's been, we had moved him to that top PP unit, so he's been getting those minutes. He's going to continue to get those minutes. Um, uh, you know, I just think as a group, a bunch of guys got to step up. And, and, and you know, obviously, um, can Madison Bowie continue to take steps here? I thought last game was better than his first game. Can he continue to take steps? Uh, uh, can Phil, uh, you know, now Phil, I think, played 22 minutes last game. He's not going to play a whole bunch more than that. But, but you know, does it is, it is his game continue to, to get better and better? Um, we just need continued growth of those guys. Dales comes back in, so it gives us a real good, uh, real good, uh, you know, veteran coming back in the lineup. And, and uh, uh, so, you, you're, you know, you're missing one, but you have another. So, um, uh, hopefully, uh, our decor can be real solid. How much of that is this, these past six weeks, similar to last season, where Tyler, came, you know, you, Tyler got a bigger opportunity, but just with where you are in the standings, take advantage of. Okay, let's see what some of the guys who are important to the future can maybe do in bigger roles or minutes. One hundred percent. I mean, I think you know when when we traded Jensen, we knew similar to when we traded Tats last year, we knew that those minutes, uh, uh, some of those minutes, were going to go to to Phil Horonic and. and um, you know, so the little bit of this is learning on the fly. Um, you know, we think he's had pretty good preparation over the, the the year, full year last year, and then and then half a year this year, and we think he's ready for it. Similar to what we thought Tyler was. That doesn't mean it goes without growing pains. There'll be growing pains, especially in the back end. It's a harder position. You know, when you make mistakes, uh, they're more glaring than than up front. But but you know, we think that ultimately. Uh, Phillips going to grow into a, a, a top four defenseman on a winning team. He, we think he can be, he can help you win. So in the in the in the meantime, uh, we just need to make sure that there's more steps forward than backwards. And, and I think he's shown a, a uh, done a good job being mentally tough too. What's the balance with Dennis Chelowski? If do you want to see him get some more looks up here, or is he better in a better position? And GR. What we don't want to do is is you know get to where we've yanked guys back and forth as much as we can. I, I you know I will maintain the reason why we sent Dennis down wasn't because um, you know we were we had too many numbers or anything like that. It was because I think a lot of times for for a defenseman it's it's easier uh, to learn uh, the, some of the defensive responsibilities that he has to learn in the American League where you can have more offensive success. Uh, you're you you might be. Uh, you might be a better athlete than some of the guys you're going against, and, and you can learn those down there. And, and so right now we feel like it's still best for him to learn a number of those uh, the defensive responsibilities down there. You talked about growing pains, but in general, are you seeing the kind of progress you would like us out of the young guys? I think for the, for the course of the season, uh, we've had good progress from a number of young guys. I think our team has grown. I think our mentality um, or identity, I should say, is 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 growing uh, for the majority of the season. I think we've we've deserved a potentially better fate in a number of games, um, but yet our record is where it is. I don't think in the last five games we've been nearly good enough, and and so uh, we need to stem that, and we need a bunch of guys to get back to playing really really good hockey here and, and taking steps forward as as both as a group, but as it's certainly very important as individuals. With a guy like Landeskog, who's scored a lot of goals in the third period, do you have to pay more attention to him then, or is it just he's a good scorer, so you pay attention to him more all well, the time? Yeah, I just think you know guys like that are, are good players, and he plays generally with really good players. And you know, even when that lines apart, uh, they seem to go back together pretty quickly too. And it's a super dynamic line, and and so um, you know he's a really good player. He's been a good player for for a number of years in this league, and and we just got to make sure that our best chance to defend 
any of those guys is to make them defend. And whether it's McKinnon, Rantanen, uh, Landis Garg, any of those guys, you have to make them defend. And so I think, you know, one of the things we talked about yesterday, our rush defense hasn't been good enough, but part of the issue is you have too many rush opportunities. And so we need to get better on our forecheck, get better in our ozone grind and, and hound. So we're playing way more in there. And that's when we've been the best this year is when we've been on our toes uh, attacking uh, and pressuring teams. So all they can do is get to the red line and change.